Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we're on episode 11 of The Handmaid's Tale, and we're getting close to the end. So, um, we saw last time that Commander Waterford had um, uh, Joseph's family, or Commander Joseph that um, June is the handmaid for, came to the house and made them perform the act, and then checked, had a doctor there to check to make sure she had semen in her. This is some crazy crap. So at the end, she's um, gotten the Marthas, and I think they're going to have some kind of a plot to get some of these kids out of there, which is going to be really dangerous. So let's get going and see what happens on this one. That was cool, all the Marthas baked muffins to let them know they were all ready and, and in on it. 52. Marthas and handmaids are offering to help me get 52 kids out. 52 kids and 10 seats. How does that math work? Hmm. Where would tell me I need to keep my fucking shit together? No. No. Eleanor. Uh, you should come. No, listen to me. What's she doing? Her. Oh my god, she's got a gun? Eleanor, look at me. You don't want to be a murderer. <laughs> you don't want to live like that. You were raped because of him. Because of him! I know you want to kill him. I would like to kill him too. It's your fault too. Ooh. You could have done something. <gasps> We all could have done something. Wow. Well, I'm doing something now. I need him now to fix it. I think can fix it. Yes, I we can. I Eleanor, but I need him alive. Wow. So put down the gun. <laughs> Don't shoot him. He's been, even though he helped Please. create this mess. <laughs> Will it make it better? How do you know it will work? Because it has to. Because all of this has to add up to something. It has right. to mean something. Right. I need your help, Eleanor. Help me make it mean something. Oh, she is so messed up from all this. Man. Thank you. She is so messed up from this. He owes he owes you. <laughs> Trick. <laughs> He's like... I'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do everything, don't you? Ice queen. <laughs> well, once you've been through what she's been through. Thank you. Thank you. I was just going to say, you're not going to say thank you? You're welcome. I also found the Marthas who were willing to help. Yeah? Yeah. More than I expected. 52. I'm sorry. <laughs> 52 kids. That you are going to help save from this shitty place you created. Mm -hmm. You know how insane you sound right now? Mm -hmm. Part of the equation we overlooked, mental health. You owe me. Mm -hmm. I assume you are staying. Yes. Well, maternal love. We overlooked that one too. So many regrets. Yep, you didn't think about that, did you? I need to get my wife out. Wouldn't it be funny if you actually turned out to be a hero? Hmm. It's hard to get governments to agree, so we're taking a more personal approach. This negotiation ought to do it. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Time to go. May the Lord bless our endeavor. Amen. 
Nice car. Fits you. Feels good to drive again. Did he say, may the Lord bless you never? They're here. Huh. Just answer their questions. Don't ask any, don't say anything extra. Are you working on a plan to get kids out? Yes. Who asked you to do that? No one. So it's your idea? Yes. Dumb idea. We're shutting you down. We have our own plans. You're interfering with them. You didn't even ask. I don't need permission. We could poison you. Will you grant me permission to rescue 52 kids from a lifetime of salvaging torture and rape? No one's going to help you. They already agreed. They answer to us. There will be an escape vehicle with room for 52 kids. If you would like that vehicle to be empty, I have no doubt that you can do that. But why? Why would you ever prevent these kids from having a better life? I vouch for her. She saved this house. She got the bomb maker out. She saved the five from Chicago. You, we will not help you or offer protection. We will not stand in your way. Thank you. Godspeed. Godspeed. I'm proud of you for keeping your head. Mr. Twello didn't know who he was dealing with. The Americans have always underestimated our devotion to the cause. I'm just sorry he pulled you into this. You should have a turn driving. Ah! No. No. Why not? I won't see another soul for miles. Wouldn't she get in trouble if they caught her driving? I mean, she, they can't even read and get it. Commander and Mrs. Waterford. Hello. Welcome. We're so honored by your visit. It's lovely to meet you. You have beautiful children and helpful too, I see. But we've been blessed to have my parents here to help us raise them. It takes a village. Indeed. Have you seen Lawrence? Sleeping in? Oh, Lord. You better go check on him, make sure she didn't kill him. Oh, sweet Jesus. They bolted. I'll be damned. The car's gone. Yep. He took her. And then he shredded all the evidence. Sorry. Ooh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows they're gone. We've still got time. A day, two. We have time to make a plan. It's over. I'll have them at Jezebel's again if I'm lucky. The Martha shipment. Can you help me talk to Billy? I never should have vouched for you. This house was a hell of a lot safer before you got here. I don't want to miss watching our daughter grow up. She's not your daughter. Her first steps. <laughs> she is going to grow up to be just like you. They're going to have sex. What do you think? Now, why are they sleeping apart? Is that something that they were doing at the house? Or is that... What the hell is going to happen to them? Oh, my God. This is just bizarre. They're back. Oh. What are you doing back? I made certain promises based on that. You should have known. I should have known you were a fucking liar. You should have known that my wife is more important to me than you are. You can't get out, can you? Mm -mm. That's why you came back. Yep. You need new authorizations for the checkpoints in the new territories. I don't have them. I do not think that that is a clerical oversight. So you can't get drugs out? I can't get a mouse out. Right. They've got me. You from the worst of it. What's the worst of it? The <laughs> colonies. Jezebel's. I'll try to find you a kind commander. 
You're taking me to the city. I'll wait here for you. Be better. Yeah. I hear you have access to a cargo plane. You want a ride? Not for me. For Ben. And a commander and his wife. And 52 children. What? I have money. You don't have enough. I just need you to keep it on the ground. No fucking way. 24 hours is all we need. 20 minutes, if you're lucky. Mm. I'm Joseph. Mm. Yep, you know who that is. Yep. Who is he? Did you think he was going to get out of there without seeing somebody? Well, he... He likes me to come here and then... Tell him what happens. Because he's a freak. Really? Mm. You all seem to have your kinks. Mm -hmm. She's either going to kill him or she's going to screw him. One or the other. <clears throat> He's gonna hit her. That's what's he gonna do? Oh, they've got him in there. Damn it, they found him. I bet they've got him tied up. Oh, okay. Get on the bed. I've done this before. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Make it I can through do it again. Just like all the other times. Mm-hmm. And do what you gotta do to survive. Face down. Ooh. Not me. Not my flesh. I knew he's gonna hit it. Oh shit. Kick that damn heel in his eye. She's gonna kill him. You have to hit him in the eye. Put it in his head. Take that heel and put it right through his eye. There you go, sister. There you go. Bash his brains in. There you go. All right. Yeah. Whoa. Good job. She's still sitting there? Good lord. There's a service elevator at the end of the hall on the left. They grabbed me in Chicago. I saw you at the cages. You saved me. You better wash your face off first. You gonna go outside with blood all over your face and no shoes? Oh, Jesus, how crazy. Drive. Oh, shit. Lord, have mercy. Who are y'all waiting for? The baby? Commander, this is Waterford. Mr. Twelve. I have a safe place we can talk up ahead. Follow me. His lips look so dry. Where are we? Right, where's the Just up ahead. Yeah, I don't trust that either. That's kind of. Way I'm going over. You call this just up ahead? Where the hell are we? Commander Waterford? Here in Canada. You have now crossed into Canada. Ooh. No, no, no. Here's the car. We are arresting you for war crimes. No freaking way. In violation of international No freaking way. And international law. Awesome. Get your hands off her. Right, just do what they say. Do you hear me? You may be transferred to the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court. Ooh. You have been charged with no Awesome. Awesome. The charges identify the 
They set them up big time. And they're going to use her as a witness. Mm -hmm. Yes, great. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. He's going to think she set him up. Oh, good. She's going to get rid of all the evidence. Good. What was she doing with the body? It's not what she's doing. Oh, burn him up! Yes! Oh, you guys got it under control. Jeez. He'll just be missing in action. Nobody will know where he's at. Finally, something's happening pretty good. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, this is going to be as good as the next two episodes. Man. Wow. Ooh, that gives me chills. I can't wait for the next two. Wow. Oh, man. They got rid of the body. They got rid of the blood. Um, and the whole thing with uh, Commander Waterford. How, who set him up? Man, that was great. Awesome. All right, let's get on to the next episode and then the finale. Okay, comments leave them below. Please subscribe if you haven't and definitely click the bell for notifications. And if you didn't see the video about the vote tally, we're going to be starting Ozark, uh, the tale of um, the haunting of Hill House and Vikings pretty soon and dark because I got to finish. Uh, um, season three drops on that pretty soon on Netflix. So I'm going to be busy. Plus my husband has to start dialysis. So I'm going to be busy learning how to do that because we're going to do home dialysis. So I want to, if y'all praying people, please say a prayer for all of us here. Uh, we're going to need it. All right. So peace out. Love y'all. Bye.